Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 3 and 4 of Simpoke G, G Mother Effer. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. That looks really gross, even though this is the same thing from last week's episode, but still. God, that's so pretty. <laughs> I'm still in awe that freaking Maria is fucking <laughs> all these characters that I also love. Still freaked out over Mio because she doesn't sound like her. And it's so weird. Oh my god, but bruh. It's so funny to just hear her, and it's like, damn, you're the bad guy of this show for the second season. Like, what the fuck? I mean, but see, she's the bad guy in freaking. <laughs> Is it wrong to pick a girl from the dungeon? I mean, but like, everybody's over here, like, no, we don't know. Bitch, <laughs> she was a bell cure. <laughs> <laughs> I want this damn song. I just want Apple Music to help me find the damn song, but I can't find it. Like, yeah, I'll do it after. I can't even find fucking character songs. All I can find are the character songs on YouTube, and I'm like, you know, YouTube, I love you so fucking much, but I don't want to download it through YouTube. I want to download it through Apple Music. <laughs> It's so much better. <laughs> That's how I found out that it's the owner of Rabbit Song, and I was fucking happy about that shit. I don't know, I got a really weird feeling after either this episode or, like, the next episode, even though Best Girl Chris is on, like, you know, my list of best girls. Chris might be number one, and I might have to, like, fucking, you know, get her when this game comes out in Ian. I'm not really 100% sure, but we'll find out. Because I already want to figure it, Chris. Like, God damn it, but it's just so hard.
I think. What the fucking ruby is this? Yeah, but then you never know, they might do another freaking live stream and then they might say, okay, this is what we want to do. Well, damn. I just can't believe you did that while you were on the phone. Sure. It's cool. You've been growing in the heart. Something on your mind? Oh my god, don't do the freaking hand thing from Sailor Moon, please. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, damn, y'all just like... <laughs> Thank you. 
fucking figures. See? See? See the shit that I said last week? Oh my god! Ugh. Hopefully. I've always learned in anime to never trust a guy with glasses. <laughs> Thank God it helped me. Uh, usually guys with glasses are the bad guys. Mm hmm Mm -mm. You look so pretty. Who? Dan girls, friends, friends, classmates. But why were you running away from them, though? Okay. <laughs> yeah, you can still participate in a school event and still do your regular work on the side. Oh my god. called multitasking, babe. <laughs> oh my gosh, she was very cold and quiet and to herself, right? Yeah, that's fine.
me. When I got to he had a fucking abandoned school and like I was ran a hospital. Oh my god. <sighs> but see, this is something about this feel a little too easy. Yes. Well, wouldn't it be better for one of you to just stay here and the other two just go on? I get that, but... Well, shit, no matter how many you take down, they keep coming. Mm. Okay, so, um, y'all want to dip? Well, because it's not a noise. That thing looked like a damn liquor from Resident Evil 2, except, you know. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Right. Do it from episode. Exactly. I know, right? <laughs> so soon. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Bro, he might be worse than Fina. I mean, like, shit. Mm -hmm. Nope, y'all need to dip. Y'all need to fucking go. Please go. I don't need any one of you three to die today.
Oh, that's so smart. Please don't let the pencil. Shit. Fucking Maria. It was Maria. Fucking Maria. Diana. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, what? What the fuck? No, no. <laughs> Y'all not fucking serious about this? No! Wait, wait, wait. Wait. Wait, <laughs> how though? How? Because, hold up, my biggest issue is because they haven't answered this goddamn, they technically have answered the goddamn question, but it's like, hold up, she just died at the end of season one! How the fuck can she be reborn? What is this shit? What is this? <laughs> I don't, I can't believe it. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> I can't. I fucking can't. What the fuck is this? Are you, no, you're, no, 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 What the absolute fuck? Are you fucking kidding me? You gotta be playing with me right now. Like, how, how, how the fuck can she be reborn if she's dead? What the fuck did y'all do to Maria? Y'all did some shit to this in Maria of course. She agreed to it, didn't Okay, hold up. No, 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 no. I'm gonna say it happened like this. Okay. You know the one fucking fake Grand Order Babylonia episode where fucking blonde best girl rain best girl turned into fucking Ishtar, you know, having herself be sacrificed to a god and then end up turning into best girl Ishtar and then back and forth she goes between two different personalities when she's around, like, light or whatever and, and shit like that. She goes back to blonde Rin, best girl. What the fuck is going on? It's that type of shit, ain't it? What the fuck? I can't. I cannot. What the hell? Mm-mm. <laughs> I am speechless. <laughs> so fucking speechless. I am livid right now. What the fuck just happened with that? No, 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 no. Subasa was so close to getting that damn cage. Like, it was not even funny. But, goddamn. Maria. Maria. Diane. <laughs> Diana, go, go, kitty, kitty. All the other damn characters she's played. What the fuck? Are you serious? Like, hold up, bitch. Bitch. <laughs> oh, I can't. Oh, my God. No. Mm-mm. 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 Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, so. Not only does Fina mean the end. Because like, Fina is French, right? I believe. I, I don't know. It's been a while since I've had, like, taken French class shit. But. <laughs> I can't. I fucking cannot. I immediately assumed that all this shit about the Fine situation and everything would have been said, talked about. We would have found this out in like the last two, three episodes of this season. Y'all was like, nope, you gonna find out episode three and four. What the fuck? I wasn't ready for this. Like, why are you doing this to me? What the fuck did I do to deserve this? I'm glad, actually, because, I mean, shit, I think if I had to wait, like, so many weeks just to find out this stuff, I probably would have been pissed. But it's a little, like, 
I, I do like the pacing of how they're doing it because it's so interesting to learn things now instead of like, okay, here's all this like build up, build up, build up, and then we get to the last three episodes and you're like, well, damn, I kind of wish we had this several episodes ago instead of right here, right now. But. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> the last time I was this fucking speechless, I think, or upset, or any- Well, really, that's almost like any reaction I fucking did. Fucking Steins Gate, when Mayuri got fucking hit, no matter the fuck what. Um, just the end of Steins Gate Zero. I mean, we all fucking remember that. Some of you don't, but I do. Um, literally any other show I fucking watched, and I've, like, been like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> what the fuck? I can't, bro. Oh my god. Okay, okay. So since we now know that Maria is a reborn phoenix, um, is episode four going to explain that situation? Like, it, it seems to me that it, it had to be something that is somewhat similar to maybe the the situation on Ishtar and Big Grand Order Babylonia, maybe. But possibly it could be something different. I don't know. I mean, how do you how do you get somebody's mind who is dead into into her? Th there's so many questions I have right now. I don't know. But <laughs> I don't know. It. I don't know how to feel about this. I just, bruh, mm -mm. Maria. <laughs> Girl, I okay, you know what? Yeah, um, Maria, you still like in that top fave. You kind of now number three. Um, Chris still number one. Subasa, you back to number two because we need a we have so many questions about this girl. We still stand a badass bitch up in this series because she a badass bitch, but still, we got a lot of damn questions about this girl. This girl, I mean, she's like. Ever since last week, I had so many fucking questions about her, and then I put what I put on fucking Twitter, and somebody came and they were like, oh, hey, well, when you get to the next series, you're even gonna have more questions about her, and stuff like that, and I was like, what the fuck does that mean, like, it, it, oh my god, is she gonna be a fucking traitor in the next season, like, I, I mean, I feel like by the end of this, she's gonna be good, and the same thing with the other two girls who are with her, because especially with the fact is that both, um, the black-haired or brown-haired girl and the situation with her and Hibiki and that ish, like, that tension is coming and you know there's gonna be an episode where really, like, she's gonna kick Hibiki's ass and I don't know why. I kind of want to see that, like, right fucking now. I mean, it's like, if you've seen Review Starlight when, um, Best Girl Tenda Mayo, uh, fucking... <laughs> literally kicked the crap out of cotton and i was just like hello like i didn't think it was gonna happen i remember that episode like yesterday because that was fucking last year and i reacted to that and that shit was so fucking good but i mean it was so weird because the fact is like this girl had won like every fucking battle and the next thing you know <laughs> the queen it's like she stepped down on that high horse and was like eh. <laughs> like goodbye oh my god but yeah, I think when they fight, and it's gonna be soon, because of the fact is that tension between them is just like, ugh. and I mean, even though she, they're not in this episode, but Maria is, like, it, it's coming. It, it's so coming, because she's so angry at Hibiki that it is not even funny. But, bruh, I mean, that that did not happen. That ending did not fucking happen. No, we're, we're not, mm -mm. no, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it did. All right, go ahead and pause the video, and I will see you guys in one second for episode four. Okay, episode four in three, two, one, go. Maria, what the fuck? Uh, 
You know, for once, and I can't believe. Can we skip the opening, please? I just want to watch the damn episode. Like, oh my god, you can't give me an ending like that and expect me to freaking rewatch it again and be like, hmm, okay, yeah, just relax for like a couple of like a minute or so. Mm -hmm. No, mm -hmm. <laughs> no, like, oh my god, Jesus Christ, you can't freaking do that. Do you know how unfair that is? <laughs> It's so fucking unfair. Like, oh my god, it's not even funny. Bruh, like, stop. <laughs> don't do it again. I swear to God, please don't. Don't give me some, like, hey, here's some new information. Holy fucking shit. And then we go into five and six, and you're like, here's that information again. Oh, but wait, you know, we left it on the cliffhanger last week, and you ain't gonna really get an answer until after the opening. <laughs> Like, I love the opening fucking get and shit, but come on. Like, oh my god. I just want to see the action. <laughs> I want to see, <laughs> like, you know, these girls probably look at us confused now. It's like, what the fuck is going on? Like, no. She did. <laughs> like, what the fuck did you idiots do? Oh my god. I just, oh. <laughs> I'm livid. Like, what the fuck? Of course. Of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, reincarnation vibe. Mm -hmm. Let me stop. Yes, yeah, she did. You would play, like, somewhat of a god music around her. Jesus. She is fucking beating her ass.
Mm -hmm. Can't do it, can you? Hmm? Of course, those two will be here as well. See, I told you, two mother having easy. <laughs> Mm. Mm, she got you too. Maybe you should leave. For now, yes. She has to be using that. She has to. I mean, come on now. If she can only use it at certain amounts of time, then, uh, bitch. I'm not going to make it. So then she might be dying at the end of the show.
I mean, my question is, can't you just feed him humans? I mean, you, you know, he fucked up, so it's like, hey, kill him. I'm just saying. That's just me. So then maybe that day with the girl from episode one who died, Fine was possibly there with Maria and everyone else. You, of course, talk to your girlfriend. See, you are any better now. Shit. See, why the fucking kids gotta come and ruin this? Like, no. My girl, my children need to go on a date. They're necessarily on a date right now, but shit. <laughs> Girlfriend. <laughs> no. You fucking you. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Yeah, but she can have fun and still do the main stuff. Yeah, and plus, I think if you go, Maria, I mean, you're going to cause a commotion. These two, however, it ain't going to be as bad, so maybe. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, hey Chris! <laughs> Are you wanting to those girls again? <sighs> No, no. <laughs> yes, Subasa, you are being watched, but Chris is. <laughs> <sighs> okay, what do you want from her now? Time for what? Hold up, is this the part where she's gonna sing? It was a little awkward that she, you know, zoomed in on her thighs, but okay. <laughs> Oh my god, these so fucking cute! <laughs> I'm 
just make me cry. <laughs> oh my I'm gonna die now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh my god, that was just uh okay, you know what? If there's something that I could probably compare that to wait, no, we gotta wait. Oh. Oh, fuck. See? Why the fuck do y'all, little kids, oh my god, I ruined shit, it was going to be so good. Okay, if there is like one thing that, like, because my heart during this damn song, like, oh my god, it was like, I was like tearing up, even though I didn't go like, <laughs> ugly cry. That gave me like, chills, and the last time I felt like that was the freaking ending of Chaos. Having them sing the last song to my best girl, and it was for her, and then rewatching it in the goddamn movie, and just being like, uh. And the fact that the damn show is on Netflix, and I can rewatch it whenever I want, and like during the fucking hurricane, like in September, it was so bad. And I was just like, I need to be happy right now because <laughs> even though it's raining and shit, I want to be happy. And then I listened to the song and I fucking cried. And so my aunt and my mom was like, why the heck are you crying? And I was like, no! I couldn't explain. I was like, anime. But, oh my god. <laughs> He's so fucking precious and she deserves everything. Oh my god. Like, goodbye. Oh my god. The fact that this is the same freaking person... Who's voice freaking Lizbeth, which I, you know, I'm not shocked about that. The thing that shocked me the most was, there was this one anime that I have seen. It's been a long fucking time since I've seen the damn show. And I just found out about this a couple of hours ago, because I was just like, mm, okay, let me see who voices her. Oh, okay, you do this. Like, I found that she was an Erica and Dorara, and I was like, oh shit, like, nice. But the one show, and this show is, like, so fucking old. I think this came out in, like, the early 2000s uh, about i don't really remember because like I, I got into it and it's like one of my best favorite fucking shows that i've ever seen it's called venus versus virus and she's in it and i didn't know she was in it and she played my favorite fucking character she was a badass then and she's a badass now and i was just like oh my god like bitch <laughs> like no she plays so many good ass characters like holy shit but oh my god <laughs> no, oh my god, you just, I want to cry so bad right now after watching that, because that was a beautiful freaking performance, like, this girl has been alone for such a long damn time, and, like, she's finally happy, <laughs> and I'm so happy for her, I'm tearing up, I can feel myself, my eyes are watering, I'm just so fucking happy for her, and I want her to say, like, <laughs> I can't talk her, you know, because she's so fucking beautiful. I want her. <clears throat> she deserves the goddamn world. Oh my god, I can now see why so many people love this girl so damn much. I mean, not only with the stuff that happened in season one. Like, yes, that's what she kind of proved. Like, once she came onto the scene... And she first, like, did her thing. That's what I was like, oh my god, yep, yeah, mm-hmm. That's a badass bitch right there. Like, we fucking stand. Like, yes, queen. But then, like, you give me this episode. 
<laughs> you give me this ending and you're just like, oh yeah, she's a badass queen. <laughs> but then she's so fucking queen <laughs> and so sensitive. Oh my god, <laughs> I can't. Oh, she's so pretty. <laughs> oh my god, I fucking can't. She's just, uh. But it's like, she's like, oh my god, shucking laughing material, like, right there. Like, mm-mm. No matter what. Like, any other girl in this damn series, from the end of G going onward, whoever comes next, like, I'm sorry. You can't compare to Chris. <laughs> like, if there is another girl, and I'm gonna go ahead and say this now. If there is another girl that any of you guys <laughs> think I might like for any fucking reason... <laughs> just tell, like you can tell me now or you can wait until we get there and be like yeah this is the girl that I kind of want you to go against with Chris <laughs> like I probably will tell you but like um Chris <laughs> she's so good I mean I'm sorry like as much as I love Maria I'm like yeah no <laughs> like, because she's so fucking precious Precious baby, she's had a tragic goddamn backstory, and then you would think, like, season one, I, like, there were moments where, like, I was like, damn, I don't really think I'm gonna like Chris, because I get the fact that, yeah, you got that tragic backstory, yeah, you're angry, and shit like that, but there was, so, uh, I don't know, it was, there was one moment, and I was just like, damn it, I'm really starting to like this girl, even though she's, like, evil, and then she's, no, she's good. And then she's so fucking precious. And just, like, protect her. Like, bitch, even though she can protect her goddamn self. But still. Oh, I just, oh my god. You didn't have to show me that today. Like, <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. Like, no. I wasn't ready for her to see so pretty. <laughs> like, oh my god. You know what the one thing I want this <laughs> to happen now? So she has a really nice voice. Because, you know, I love her song. But then that song was beautiful as fuck, too. I need her <laughs> to be in fucking Idol Master Cinderella Girls, like, fucking ASAP. Like, oh my god. I don't really give a fuck if she would be, like, a cool girl. Well, oh my god. If she was a cool girl and Idol Master Cinderella Girls, like, bitch, because I love cool girls. <laughs> If she was a passion girl, or even a freaking cute girl, I wouldn't care. Like, oh my god. I don't know who the freak she could voice, but she could- Oh my god. Just please. It would be so nice. I don't care. Like, you don't need her. Oh my god. I can't. Oh, uh, Chris. God damn it. <laughs> I'm not Okay. I am not okay after this episode. How the fuck can I be okay after this? But this was a damn good episode. Except that ending. Everything was so freaking good. Except that damn ending. I really didn't want these two children. Like, y'all could have waited until, like, uh, like halfway through episode five. No. <laughs> oh, God. I, I'm, I'm scared to know what the hell is going to happen next. Because they're going to transform, of course. Because of uh, because of the fact is, you know, Fine's group, honestly, they don't really give a crap if people know that they have Simpo Gears, but with the fact is of with Chris, Hibiki, and Tsubasa, especially really Tsubasa, if Tsubasa transforms, eh, but uh, still, I mean, what do you do? This is like some Sailor Moon type shit, you know? And it's just like, damned if you do, damned if you don't, because there's consequences if you transform in front of people. So... There's going to maybe be a point where, yes, they're going to have to get people out of that auditorium theater that they're in right now and eventually take it outside. But who knows? Who knows what the freaking kids are going to want to do? I mean, god dang it. I still want to know, like, yeah, their past, like, they both are very, seem like very troubled children. And whatever happened to them is possibly, I don't think it's far worse as Maria's. I think Maria's backstory with her ish is like probably maybe almost as equally up there with Chris's backstory but I feel like because hers has to do with that girl who died at the end of episode one and so we're now on episode four and we're about to be 
on the halfway point by next week or really this weekend, depending on when I, when I can film it between packing up my room and shit. Um, there's got to be a moment where one of these episodes coming up, we kind of do like a flashback again and we see what all happened after the point the girl died. It's Maria, it's her mom, and then whoever else was there with her that night and see what else transpired. Because with that, because every single time when I see Maria or I think about Maria while watching this show, uh, I immediately still remember that. And I'm like, are we ever really going to get something, whatever happened after that? How, like, all this shit. I'm still freaking out over the fact is this bit, like, no matter how many times she uses her suit, but her gear, bitch is going to be more and more turned into, like, Fina and shit. Are you fucking kidding me? Like, I mean... I, I don't know why, but this sounds like something off of Ruby for some weird reason. And I haven't watched Ruby in like freaking like two or three years. I don't know. I started watching Ruby one day and I was just like, eh. But I don't know. It just, for, for certain situations and the way it's going, I feel like I'm watching a Ruby episode for some weird reason. And I'm just like, why? I don't know. But, bruh, like, something's coming between episode five through the end. Something isn't going to come out to light. The situation about Maria's blast, um, literally everything. I'm wanting to know about, supposedly, mom. And, you know, you can see that she's dying because she coughed up blood and stuff. So, like I said, she'll be dead by, this, <laughs> by the end of this season. I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of... There's so many unanswered questions with this. And this is only episode four. Oh my god, I can't. <sighs> this is too much. Oh my god. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 3 and 4 of Simpho Gear G. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Magical Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially. Um, okay. I don't know how I'm going to do this because, you know, since next week is Christmas and everything. And I don't know how... If I'm going to record, because of the fact is, yeah, I gotta pack this freaking room up and everything. But if I do have the videos come out for Patreons, like, it'll still come out Friday and ish like that. I may have it come out a day earlier. I don't really know yet. I'm still deciding. So I'll probably have my answer maybe, like, sometime tomorrow this weekend. I don't know, because I had to go out this weekend. And... But yeah. I will probably see you guys either next Thursday or Friday for Patreons and <laughs> next Thursday <laughs> for everybody else for episodes five and six. Bye, guys.